Welcome to another episode of Banking Insights. Today we're going to discuss quantum computing. It's based on quantum physics and it's rather difficult. With me is an expert, Nadine von Son, and she's an expert on quantum strategy. Nadine, welcome to the studio. Let's start with the beginning. What is quantum computing? Quantum computing is essentially a new way of computing, making use of quantum physics. Now that sounds very complicated, uh, but at the core of it is that it can do particular calculations more accurate, but also a lot faster. I like that a lot. So that means very complex materials could go a lot faster. How could that help, for example, banks? Because we're discussing banking insights here. So banks are prone to a lot of different risks, right? Uh, so for risk management, there, there is a large opportunity. So banks have a lot of different risks as financial risks, as economic risks, but also climate related risks. And all of these risks are somehow connected to each other. And that makes it rather difficult to understand its effect on banking. So quantum computers are, uh, are prone to be very good at simulating events that don't happen very often, but when they happen, they have a large effect. So for example, the floodings or wildfires. Mm -hmm. So quantum computers can, can simulate these events in just a few hours, uh, compared to several days that it takes nowadays uh, to calculate these risks. And you can understand that it has an enormous impact uh, and also is very beneficial for risk management strategies. Oh yeah, I can really see that. By the way, if they do the computing that fast, right, on the risk modeling, probably it also has an impact, for example, on cybersecurity levels then? Yes, absolutely. So quantum computers uh, are also very good at looking for, for particular systems uh, and also uh, they can uh, very easily uh, crack particular passwords. Uh, because of this fastness of, of computing, uh, it gets a lot faster than just trying a 1 and a 0 and a 5 every time. So they can do that uh, almost instantly. All right. So now I understand you have a lot of in-depth knowledge in your entire team at Capgemini as well. But if banks want to do something with this topic, what are the costs associated with it? Do they need to have certain capabilities? Because it sounds like you don't really change to it overnight. Am I correct? Yes, you're, you're, you're very correct in that. So quantum computing is still a technology that is in development. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's quite hard to imagine how this quantum future will actually look like. Uh, but it's very important to already understanding its effect uh, that it can have. Uh, so, for example, on cybersecurity and risk management. And therefore, banks can already start trying out to look where, where are these applications, uh, what are interesting areas for me, what are use cases. Uh, but also very important to already start experimenting on quantum computers and, and understanding how these quantum algorithms actually work mm. and how they can be translated into, into business operations. So basically you're saying you have to start right now so that you're ready for the future. Well, I think you've heard it. If you want to know more about quantum computing, Nadine, can everyone contact us? Yeah, for sure, uh, Alexander. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. If you need any help, contact either Nadine or myself. See you next time.